Julie Behrens, I've been practicing herbal medicine for the last 14 years at the Albion Clinic in Brighton and also the Hurst Monsu Integrated Health Clinic in Hailsham. I have a dispensary at the Albion Clinic where I make up medicines for my clients, creams, pessaries, ointments, tinctures, teas, depending on what that individual needs. I've always been interested in herbs ever since I was little. My grandma used to give us herbs um, whenever we got ill or had a stomach ache, something like that. We'd always been given a cup of chamomile tea or fennel tea. It's always been part of my life. As my children grew up, I realised that they needed to be taught about plants and we'd go out and forage and look at plants and their friends would come with them. And it was only when my son asked for an Xbox, I realised the gap between technology and more and more children were losing the contact with nature and becoming a bit more withdrawn, wanting to be inside and play video games. I also learnt from my daughter, her friends would come round and they'd want to learn and make oils and creams with the plants. I devised and designed a puppet theatre piece, an educational tool um, that can be used in schools to educate children about medicinal plants. We um, realised that what we were offering these children was very cross-curricular through English, designing ideas of puppets, stories, uh, science, botany, a whole range of understandings that the children would have. The performance is based on old medieval herb stories, but also the old Brother Grimm stories as well, and the characters come out of, of bushes and plants to depict what's going on in the story. The portable stage includes a forest, a tower and a graveyard where all sorts of things happen. <laughs> We got funding from the Heritage Lottery. They gave us funding to go into three heritage sites and five schools. Now, I like the dandelions, the Feel strong and fit, so eating lots of green leafy vegetables and herbs that might help you. you um, grab it and then scrunch it up. That's right. And then you can put it in your mouth. That's right, you have to grasp the nettle. Kay and I both run. Uh, workshops, puppet making and medicine making workshops alongside each other and then swap the classes over and teach them songs and learn about the medicinal properties of the plants. Here we go, have you had a look under the microscope? We also talk a little bit about the history of plants and how they have been used from Egyptian to Roman times um, and how they're presently used today. The challenge for a school like ours in the middle of Brighton is to try and bring opportunities like this to the children as opposed to getting a bus packing them on a bus and taking them miles away when you've got it to hand. So you're just winding their knowledge of local environment, which is great. Let them have a go at grinding the herbs using a pestle and mortar, because that way they could just smell them and feel them. And, and so it was really practical. And I'll send them out, my children out, to go and get the herbs from the garden when you're cooking, which is quite nice, and then having it lead into school and have them recognising herbs in school. It just reinfo reinforces what they're there for, you know. I'm going to have a teaspoon each and then grind it up. Open them up. And it just makes it real for them. Yeah. You know, that hands-on approach. We're on a drive to make sure that the things we want the children to know or do that we do over and above, but the pressure's time. So the more we can do the things that we want the children to do that ticks the box as far as um, the curriculum goes, the better. It really complemented the topic of plants and growing, so yeah, it really linked well with our science topic. Shows you all the detail of like everything in it, and like it kind of shows you what this plant actually is if you look at it up close. What, how it works and everything. These like loads of little buds and they turn into little flowers. Yeah. People think they see the flower but they actually don't. 
the oil is all like um, this and you have to leave it in warm places so then it goes into a nice little oil so you can and you rub, rub it around around your hair really with nice. it. Got brilliant environment, a new face, new voice, practical activities, so the children are going to sort of buy into it. Uh, and the fact they're going home with something to show to their parents. And I think that's what I like the idea of. Rather than a parent having to say to a child, what do you do today? That child's going to go into the car, go at home and say, look what I did, you won't believe this sort of thing. And I think if we can do more of that, we're doing good jobs. <laughs> be great to go into more schools um, all over England and have on their education and element of health and, and food and nutrition and I think medicinal plants are a, a perfect way of doing that in a practical way that children can engage and have fun with.